Greetings, I'm Professor K, and I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome everyone to SEC 4302 Planning and Audits. Now, we use the term audit interchangeably with other words such as pen testing or ethical hacking or risk assessments. Those all pretty much come under the same heading for an audit. So make sure you understand that these terms are kind of used loosely throughout the course. So when we talk about a pen test, we talk about an audit, we talk about a risk assessment. They all involve some type of auditing process, whether you're using Nessus or you're using a checklist or whatever, whatever it is you're using, right? So just make sure you understand that. Now, how are you going to get through this course? The best way I can tell you to get through this course is to come into the course room at least nightly and you should be spending about 15 20 30 minutes a night if at all possible working on your assignments you have to have a good time management skill to be able to be successful as an online student this is adult learning and you're not going to have somebody walking behind you asking you where your assignment is that's not going to happen uh, you're going to be expected to manage your own time and to get your assignments submitted on time so that you don't have to worry about point deduction or you don't have to worry about being late with your course work. So make sure that if you can't make it on time that you reach out and contact your instructor or you contact someone at CSU and let them know that you need more time to get your assignments submitted. All right. So this course has eight units. These eight units are broken down into learning lessons, their labs, assignments, quizzes, and whatever else they can think of to throw at you to get you as much information as possible to make you proficient in the area of planning and conducting IT audits. All right, so that's where we're at. Now make sure that when you first come into the classroom that you start at the top of the menu over there on the left that's in that blue strip make sure that you start there and that you start at the top and you just keep going down as far as you can go and that you read everything that is posted in the course room especially the announcements and especially the course syllabus all right course syllabus is going to have a lot of good information to include your course schedule for you. So make sure you take advantage of that. Now the important thing is, is that you have access to your course instructor. For that, you can use the Ask the Professor form where you will find my contact information and where you can ask questions. And I subscribe to that form so I will get a notification through my email that someone has posted a question and I need to get up there ASAP and respond to it. Now you can also respond to me via email or you can call me. All right. I'm always available for my students. So make sure that if you have any issues, don't hesitate to reach out and contact me. All right. That's about all I got for you. But I just wanted to remind you that I'm here when you need me. Don't hesitate to reach out and contact me. And again, welcome to the course.